keen apologetics. Actually, I'm dipping because Mike Lacona is calling me and he's coming on later. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. So, um, yeah, hey, we're going to hey, be. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Since we got a guest, you can just bring him on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and bring him on. To start. And here. Someone you may have heard of. I don't know. I don't maybe know heard of. This. this is Paul Copan. 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 Is Copan. it Copan or Copan? It's I always Copan. Copan. Uh, I always get it straight for the record here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Copan. That's, that's Copan. Okay. okay. <laughs> so this is Paul Copan. Um, and he's actually written a book that a lot of people are always talking about. The book is God a Moral Monster, where he talks about a lot of the stuff in the Old Testament and then how to kind of score it away with God's character. So um, you guys can go ahead and start sending in your questions and we'll start answering some questions here and just get going. All right. So, yeah, questions for call for her, uh, Paul. Uh, coupon, is it? Is it coupon? <laughs> coupon. Q yeah, coupon? I, 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 I try to give a discount to people. Who <laughs> books. Yeah. So, Paul Copen here. So, if you got questions, he's done a lot of great stuff on Old Testament scholarship, yeah. things re related to that. Uh, wonderful to have you on here. I actually have a quick question for you, um, yeah. if you have it. So, uh, so uh, when one of the things I always get people asking me is in the Old Testament, it's about, oh, why is God commanding genocide? Right. Why is he telling people to wipe the Israelites to wipe out entire populations? And I don't know if you've written on that. You may have written maybe several books on it or, or not. I don't know. What is your what is a quick way that you sort of deal with that? Yeah, answer that, Paul. OK, mm -hmm. thanks, Dave. I appreciate I appreciate that, David. Um yeah, I, I've done further work on this in my book is God a Vindictive Bully, and I've got other stuff coming out too, but uh, that builds on the Moral Monster book. And I try to go into a lot of detail on, one, a lot of the ancient Near Eastern background, which talks about hyperbole. It's like ancient Near Eastern trash talk. Like we, in sports, we talk about, you know, we totally annihilated those guys. We all, you know, wiped them all out. And that's how people wrote in the ancient Near East. You know, we totally wiped them out. We left no survivor. Even the term, you know, we left alive nothing that breathes, uh, you know, or, or we utterly destroyed them. You know, you, you read this in Deuteronomy chapter seven, for example, where it says, you know, drive them out, utterly destroy them and so forth. And then it goes on to say, do not intermarry with the Canaanites. You know, don't make covenants with them. Well, if you've already wiped them out, what are you doing making covenants with them? Uh, you also see places where it says we totally destroyed them. We uh, left no survivor in the book of Joshua, a chapter or two later. There they are, those same people that were allegedly utterly destroyed. So, you know, God is concerned about primarily driving people out uh, that, you know, and even when it says, you know, the term utterly destroyed is being used, uh, you know, the people are still there. Like uh, the, the Amalekites, Saul, it says in 1 Samuel 15, he, quote, utterly destroyed them. But then you read at the end of the book that you, David is fighting against the Amalekites, an army of the Amalekites. So, so clearly there's something more going on here. And so I'm pushing that point that, uh, that the language is very strongly hyperbolic. It's very sweeping. It's very totalistic. And so even when it says man, woman, young and old, that's just part of the genre, even mm -hmm. though there aren't women and children there. What I, what I like to bring up is in 1 Samuel 15, it says they wiped out the Amalekites, everyone except for King Ahab. Or King Agag. Agag, yeah. And yeah. then what happens is, is Samuel says, is going to execute this king for uh, killing people and raiding. And he says, your mother will be, you will, your as you made other uh, mothers childless, so shall your mother be childless. He says, wait a minute. I thought all the Amalekites did, but his mother is still around? Like, exactly. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, you got it. I mean, that's the sort of thing you see. Well, it, it, so a lot of people want to push that this genocide sort of thing. Well, you just don't see that going on. You just see that sweeping language used in Judges chapter one. You read the Israelites could not drive them out, could not drive them out, could not drive them out. So, so yeah, we need to revisit that language. And that's what I'm trying to do in my Moral Monster book and his God of Indictive Bully. Excellent. Cool. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. And speaking of, um, somebody commented and said, Says, thank you, Paul, for your books. Says, God, a moral monster was a big help um, to answer the hard questions. And I enjoyed, is God a vindictive bully? So good for that. Um, there's also a comment um, where he says, dang, man, Paul Copano was one of my professors, John Adams. Okay. Which is awesome, too. Hey, John 